Okay guys, just a quick video. I had a couple questions or a question about uh, justification. So justifying your type and dealing with all the crazy rivers and stuff. Um, so I'll just do, a, I'll try to keep this uh, to a shorter video, not one of my long winded uh, deals. And I'll just say that, um, so here's some text. I just pulled off a book review on Amazon or like an overview, I should say, um, of a biography. And I'm in InDesign here, and I just pulled the text in. I have like, I'm, this is not a line on the page or anything. I just brought a block in. It's, you know, a five inch wide column, which is a pretty, in this situation, is a, you know, pretty um, dealable line length. Um, you know, if you're thinking of like 52 to 55 characters on a line, ideally, that's, you know, what you want to be thinking about. Uh, but I just have it flush left here with a ragged right. As you can see, there's a second paragraph here that is, has no indent or no space, so that would have to be taken care of. Um, but the trick here is, you know, when I, when I set up my paragraph with justification, as we know, sometimes those river, rivers will be an issue. So I'll typically, I won't use um, the full justification, like justifying at all times. I'll use the justify with the, you know, the last line aligned left. It's just easier on the on the eye because if it has to go if every line has to go to the very end here even at the end of a paragraph obviously if you have two if you have space between paragraphs it's a little easier but it's still it's it's more headache than is necessary and I think it lacks uh, clarity for the reader so I'm just going to use the justify with the last line aligned to left okay and this is um, the character this is straight default here so why don't I select something like uh, there would be maybe some Garamond um, regular perhaps okay um, and then I'll make that it uh, uh, see you know you see when I go smaller especially with this typeface uh, that line length all of a sudden gets really uh, quite a bit longer okay so uh, for our purposes here I'm gonna go up a touch uh, open that up to maybe uh, you know, I think that could work 14 right now. We'll see once it gets um, a little more dialed in, but I think this is a pretty readable line like this. If I remember later, okay, that's that's dealable. So, um, you know, you can decide depending on your page size and how much content you have, what a comfortable line like this. But again, you want to be thinking in the ballpark of, you know, 50 odd, you know, characters on a line. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll refine spacing and everything here. Um, Tracking, I'll just make this, I'll put that at zero. Um, you know, like I, your, your metrics selection here as a default is not bad for text. So in your kerning function, I would probably have it set to metrics instead of optical for this situation. I'll typically use optical for display type headlines, etc. okay? So, I mean, right off the bat, to be honest with you, this block doesn't look too bad. Um, one thing you could do is if you go into your InDesign preferences and you go to composition and then you select, you click on this H and J, H and J is hyphenation and justification. So it's going to show you any violations of hyphenation and justification. It's going to call out uh, any troubled areas. Okay. So if I click on that and hit okay, I can see, okay, this is not a bad block of text, but I do have a couple areas here where I have some, you know, some extra space and things. And the, the darker the yellow in this situation, the more grave the issue, okay? Um, I'm being dramatic, but um, it, it's just meant to be, it'll, you'll see different shades. And so the darker yellows are the, the areas that need the most help, okay? I'm going to go into, with my, you know, character basically set, I'm going to go into my paragraph styles palette. I'm going to make a new paragraph style. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to go to my justification settings, and it defaults here to you know your uh, word spacing values and uh, you know for minimum to maximum. This is how much space it will allow, either you know tightening or opening, uh, given the line of text. You know the amount of characters on the line. So I want to say you know I'm going to make this around 90, and maybe I'll make this around 120. Okay, um, letter spacing. Let's say I'll go, um, I don't, you know, when, when, to do this, it's gonna, you can see we just made it worse, by the way. Um, it, it's, uh, I, it's gonna consider how much space it's gonna allow between the letters, okay? So I'm gonna let it tighten up the letter spacing by maybe 3%, and I'm gonna let it open up the letter spacing. Let's see how we do it, 2%, okay? 
not bad actually okay so it's allowed a little bit of extra letter spacing if need if needed to take care of some of those rivers um glyph scaling i man i really don't necessarily want to do this because this actually tweaks this the typeface itself now if you do it in a such a small percentage say 99 it will generally be pretty imperceptible to our eyes um and it might help you clear some problems up if it you know some people will go even more uh, to 98 and then say 102 you can see that took care <clears throat> of all of our issues here um you know I'm not up for stretching type, as you all well know. Um, this is going to, again, be pretty imperceptible to our eye, and it will give you more flexibility. As you can see, it took care of all the yellow, okay? Um, but it's up to you. If, you. if you do play with this, I wouldn't go any, you know, more um, or, you know, than 2% in either direction, okay? And if we make it back to 100% here, you know, we get a little bit of that line there and that's really not bugging me too much okay <clears throat> one thing i can also do because i can what i can do is i can go in and um tweak this manual if i have to you know i can come into here and select that go to my character palette and add a little bit of tracking if i have to okay and that takes care of the issue okay so i can do those little problem lines manually um, and all I did was go to that line and select that line and add a little bit of tracking, okay? So what it did is opened up the letter spacing a little bit to compensate for those rivers. And if you look at it, at it from a readability standpoint, you know, you're not really noticing that, a lot of that extra space there, okay? So this is pretty readable, all right? Um, uh, you can also, if we go back to our paragraph styles palette, click on that. I can make my hyphenation um, customized. I can say I don't hyphenate unless it has at least six letters. Maybe I don't want to hyphenate until after the first three letters. So you can see what happens there. We had a two line, a two uh, letter hyphenation there. I didn't want that. So I'm going to hit that to make it three. I want to say three before the last letter. And so we created a little bit more of a problem for ourselves. But at the end of the day, I think that's going to be better for our, just, our, our hyphenation. And we can go in and manually fix that. Not a big deal. Um, the other thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go, go into my indents and spacing. And I want to go space before paragraph. What I have here is a hard return between here and here. I'm going to add my space before paragraph here. And I'm going to just optically say, okay, what's going to work well here? Maybe I want to go into point um, 75, 0.075 instead see where that gets me okay and that's going to all be related to how much line spacing you have going on you know how much uh, sp uh space between paragraphs do you need for that what if i go into uh 0.095 okay that's pretty comfortable um you know and you get the drift you can go in here and you'll get eventually a sensitivity to what values work best for the amount of content in your um whatever composition you're working with. What you don't want is that big chunky double return space in there, okay? So you can decide if this is too much space or not enough space or, um, you know, whatever suits your, your page essentially, okay? I'm gonna hit okay there. So you can see that we've created by that, that hyphenation, we've created a line here that has a little bit more uh, of a river situation in here. I could go in there again and add a little bit of space to that line if I want to. And all I did was add 10 points of tracking and it's already taken care of that, okay? So now we have a pretty readable block of text. Um, you know, you can go in and decide, are there lines that have to break? You know, and if so, like if I have to break this because there's a title here, if I have to sh shift return that down to the next line, what does that do for me? Okay, that creates an issue here, right? So now I'm gonna probably have to go in and track that out a little bit and see if that takes care of it for me. It, it brought it down a little bit. You know, you got to decide if you can live with the amount of space. So you could add a little more tracking here and probably get rid of it all together, okay? Uh, and then if you want to, you can go back into your InDesign preferences, composition, and take off H and J violations if you want, just so you don't have them on all the time. But um, while you're working up and setting up your page, it's a good idea to use that. And, uh, you know, again, for a, a, a whole book of this, you're not going to necessarily be doing that, right? You're going to get it to be as good as you possibly can get it with some preset uh, functions like we just looked at. Uh, but ultimately there will be some rivers here and there throughout a book. Uh, you just wanna try to get the cleanest amount of uh, 
you know, the, the, the least amount of those as possible. And when you're looking at the back of your cover, for example, like the overview, you want to try to have no rivers in there because that's a, you know, a set amount of text that we can really go in and customize and tweak, okay? Any questions about this, shoot me an email. Hope this helps, and we'll see you with your work in class. All right, thanks.